welcome <laughs> welcome everybody ah, 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 ah. on this special Halloween episode of crab and punishment Sherlock Holmes <laughs> <laughs> One pipe problem. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Two, Two pipe, pipe problem. problem. Ah, 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 ah. Three pipe problem. problem. Ah, ah, ah. We're playing Crimes and Punishment Sherlock Holmes. This is episode two. Episode two. Uh, we're trying to figure out what happened to Black Peter. Wow, bro. Take it easy with that shit. That's just what they call him. Wow, dude. Totally. I don't know why they call him. I don't know why they call him at all. That dude sucks. <laughs> and he's dead. Yeah, he's dead as fuck. <laughs> that dude got fucking harpened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got so in the last episode, he got harpened as fuck. Yeah. Um, why are we here again? How do I even play this? A uh, tab. Tab. Thank you. There we go. Uh, investigate John the Nelligan. Interrogate Liam Hurtley. Okay, so we've got to talk to Nelligan and Hurtley. Okay. And that's why we're at Scotland Yard. Yep. There we go. Perfect. It's a good thing we landed here. This game's pretty pretty for a game that came out like 50 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. It's pretty gooch. Okay, so oh, that's Lestrade's so, room. So in, in the last episode, I was talking about Liam Hurtley. Yeah. Uh, uh, he's actually a, char a prominent character in one of the, the Sherlock books. Oh, really? Yeah, it's actually pretty funny that he's in, the, he's in this. Oh, shit. Well, here he is. Let's Please talk to escort him. this suspect for interrogation. Yeah, yeah. He's actually not. I just said that because I was going to set up some more for this dude My that doesn't name exist. Is Sherlock Holmes. I would like to ask you a few questions. I've already told the police that I've nothing to say. And you're not even part of the police. Oh, I'm a consulting to tell you. Precisely. Oh, I already told you. <laughs> he thought that shit was going to die in the first or second or episode. That what? shit's what? back. What? What? Your, st your stupid accent? Oh my god. Oh wait, no, I, I got actually a better one. I doubt it. I know. Expect a destroyer. You are, and exactly what happened oh, that you should be brought here. My name is Liam Hurley. My name is Liam that Hurley. I can tell you. Yeah, I can tell you. Any more than that. But you're not getting any more well, than that. We shall see. Oh shit. All right. Fucking look at this dude. Yeah. Let's get a profile on this guy. Mm. He's got a little fucking bilby. Got, uh... What do they call him? Bilby hats? Uh, that's, I think it's uh Trilby. Trilby, there we go. A Krilby hat. Is what it is. He's got green eyes, so that means he's from the, the Netherlands. What the fuck is going on? Is oh, that, oh, there we go. Old Scar. Old Scar. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Shitty beard. <laughs> All right. Ants. Yeah, hands. Gardener's, Gardener's hands. hands. Ooh, he's a guard. He's got something on his knuckles, bro. I think no, that just counts guard counts as gardener's hand. Okay. All right. All right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Yeah, he's got the what gardener's else? hands. What That's... else has he got going on? Check out his peen size. Plant remains on his on his. On oh, his... check his boot. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Dun, 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 he's got dun, crested dun, tits dun, on his. Dun, 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 Lee. Tell me, Mister Hurtley, what were you doing at Woodman's Lee? Next thing you're gonna tell me is you weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been there. <laughs> no, no, you... Uh, Q. The plant room. Uh, boots that match. Bulk up garden. Hurtley's boots match. Rings Dude. engraving. Uh, Dude. rings Dude. engraving. Cause his name's on the ring, right? Yeah. No. No. Fuck. Select the. It's probably the boots. Okay. The boots because he's got. Tell me, Mr. Hurtley. It's his boots and he's got plant remains. It's probably linked. I've never been there. What makes Lee? I've never been there. Uh, boots match? Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. The second yeah, we, pair yeah, of those boots, were his boots that you had with you when you were arrested. Perfectly. Oh, yeah, we did that last episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah, forgot about that. Point. Peter Carey was murdered. Hmm. Prince, that's your proof. How many men have boots like mine? Yeah, that but not many people have big ass murderer. feet like you, bro. That's a, that's a fucking fat. Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? <laughs> Drinking and smoking tobacco. Uh, tobacco pouch? I don't think he had anything with the tobacco pouch. Oh, what yeah. No. His uh, boots. No, we really did that. We didn't do the boots. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. You, we just did it. Um, Try Gardner. Gardner? 
Yeah, okay. Because you are the gardener at Woodman's Lee. Yeah, so the wife has something to do with it. How did you... I observed your hands. They told me that you work with the earth. Small fragments of plants snagged... Yeah, so the wife's been lying. She said there was no gardener. Yeah, what the fuck's up with that? But the most the, it must be collusion. Itself it must have been like a... Embroidered on your handkerchief. Taunting or something. Tit, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, right, she's... Right, she's into birds. Me. Yeah. Yes. I oh, am a gardener, okay. And I went there to get my tools. And he was in the way, so I stabbed him. So tell me, Miss <laughs> 37 what times in the chest. Hide? What are you talking about? <laughs> Liam. Oh, Q, Q was asked, Q was asked. Um, we're in the tobacco pouch. That kills people. Oh, Hartley's letter. Ooh. I did as you asked and hid them well. Should I continue? Oh. My letter? But the ink? That's impossible. A touch of chemistry, nothing special. Yeah, he's lying. <laughs> well, you're a smart one, but it's nothing. If you want to know, I was referring to my tools. It was to do with my work, see? Mm -hmm. I will check that, Mr. Hurtley. Yeah, we're going to go take a look at the, the, the tool That's shed. For now. Talk to fucking Kelligan. But now I know one thing for certain. Well, maybe we should <clears throat> just examine the Yeah, maybe we talk to Nelligan, see what's going on. Kent, and then... Woodman's Lee. And then maybe we go to Woodman's Lee after? Okay, we can do that. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. This suspect. Please, please move this ninja into the... <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, what exactly were you hoping to find inside Peter's uh, cabin? I... I was trying to find some information about my father. Uh, Sharp knife, father's jacket, rings engraving? I was trying to find some rings engraving? Or bond certificate. Uh, yeah, let's try to bond certificate. Yeah. I assume you had another purpose, to retrieve okay. the bond certificates. Am I correct? Yes. I discovered some time ago that a few of the missing securities had reappeared on the London market. You can imagine my amazement. I spent months okay. trying to find them. So At last I discovered that the original seller had been Captain Peter Carey. These papers, they belong to my family, but I could not find them there. All right. So that's all for now. So well, I will see you It looks soon, like we have a lot of conflict conflicting interests here. A lot of what could be coincidental like happenings like but like it's weird because like he went to go take these bonds that were apparently stolen okay so we have to talk to 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 the the, the waifu yeah definitely yeah because uh she's fucking lying she's to lying us. to us yeah we talked to we talked to your god now miss baker street my name's not Miss Baker Street. 221 Baker Street, in fact. I actually I, I actually kind of like how it's very set-piece heavy. Like, it's just like we keep going between the, the same couple. Of... Yeah, that's kind of nice. Um, Let's clues. go to Clues. That's what I want. Hurtley's Leather and a Non-Smoker. Yeah, that's not enough. That's not going to Yeah, That's what I thought. Okay, so we don't have enough to go on yet. All right, we'll see when we go when we go and check out Women's Lee. I, I want to say, like, so far... um. I don't know about how you're feeling, but I'm actually really liking the series, like a lot. Oh yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. I I thought I thought we'd have fun with a a with show. A, well, with it's a, funny because a mystery. Oh, uh, because like two like <coughs> two we get bots ago. You you su you kind of suggested we do a Sherlock Holmes game. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was after uh, it was after uh, Pains, Fear. Pains Creek. Oh, it no, was Pains yeah, Creek. It was just Pains. because uh. Just because we had so much fun with Payne's Creek, which was kind of like investigation. Does the name Liam Hurtley mean anything to you? No, I don't know anyone. By oh, that she's lying. Name. She's doing the thing where she looks around really hard. Madam, we have information that the valuable stolen papers are hidden amongst the garden tools here at Woodman's Lee. We need to find them. Oh, my. Our tools are kept inside the shed that's right behind oh. me. Here is the key to open it. Thank you, madam. Okay. So we're getting closer and closer. Find a use for the Hello. small. Brass keys. I need, a, I need a 
You just walk up to the door, I think. Okay, I was just wondering why that tab icon was there. Oh, now it's gone. Okay. It's probably because when we get something, we can probably hit her in the head with it. Like that scythe? Yeah. Hell yeah. Let's see what could be hidden here. Don't forget Let's to use your detective see. vision. Oh, yeah. Uh... Hmm. Shed floor. Oh, oh. Planks. Oh, there we go. Ill fitting, fitting plank. plank. Yep. Another key. Oh no, that was the handle. It's got a weird. So this box. looks like the box. Yeah. Let's look at the. Let us see what is in this box. Okay, so rotate the lock cylinders to for form a complete line. Please note that some lines are deceptive. Rotate all, rotate. Okay. Switch. Oh, I see. Okay. Perfect. Wow, good job. Easy. You're the master of unlocking. Bunch, Bunch of, of fucking letters. Doom ba doom doom. We just got a letter. We just got okay. the Carey family monograph. Oh. Hurtley and Mrs. Carey were in a relationship. Wow! Oh, saw that coming. That is interesting. Explains why she was lying. Yep, she's trying to go so they they kill he killed her husband so they can elope. Liam, my dear. Oh, that's that's the lady. And take the take the bonds and run away. Yeah, take the bonds and bail. Mm, that or they dear. keep the estate. You've they... been so good to me all the time that I've known you. I cannot describe these feelings, but I suppose that they are sinful and no good can come from them. Yeah, probably. I fear what might happen. I fear going against God. I thank you for your care, but I cannot leave the man with whom I have been bound by God. It is His divine will, and thus my husband is the cross that I must bear. He makes my life a living hell. But bruises fade, and you must not worry for me. Huh. Oh, so, uh, so, Peter Carey was abusive. Yeah, he was beating her up. An abusive alcoholic. I did as you asked, and hid them well. But I beg you to reconsider. Okay, so that's, uh... Remember okay. our vows. Right, so. Wait, it's a remember our vows? Where? Remember our vows. Yeah. I've done this not for which you, me. Yeah, we read this uh, last episode. Yeah. yeah. And then this is the... Yeah, the, the bankruptcy. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, okay. So, Liam Hurtley. Liam Hurtley is the gardener. She was banging the gardener. Yep. And, uh... <clears throat> so, probably she doesn't necessarily have anything to do with it. Maybe she didn't ask him. Because I was thinking maybe they're colluding. But maybe that... that maybe not. Maybe he did it. Maybe he did it behind he her. He was white knighting. Like, without her uh, knowing. Yeah, but he... she's like, oh no, this awful but yet happy coincidence. Yeah. Okay, it looks like that's it. Because she was oddly not that shaken up about her bitch-ass husband dying. No. Let's press her ass, dude. But initially we were just like, oh, he, you know, he's an alcoholic, he was kind of shitty. So like, yeah. you know, she probably wasn't, wouldn't be that shaken up about it. Yeah, but, but, it, but, but now it makes definitely... even more sense. Yeah, because I was like, I think I said she was the fucking... Well, you and Liam Hurtley Madam, are fucking. I am aware of your affinity with Liam Hurtley. You're a liar. What are you talking about? You found your goddamn letters, lady. Uh, Outlining the dust. correspondence. Mrs. Carey, oh, we shit. found your letters. My Objection! Letters. <laughs> I asked Liam to return them to me. I wanted to burn them. Sure you did. Why did Mr. Hurtley put them inside the garden shed? Because he I, loves you? I don't know. I wanted them back, but I couldn't see him. Not after what happened. Well, here they are. We're gonna have to keep them as evidence. <laughs> Liam, how could he? I, after what he has done. Hmm. You believe that he killed your husband? No, I do not know. I do not know. Leave me alone, please. Listen, ma'am. Thank you, madam. I wonder if Wiggins has managed to find any sailors. Wiggins! We still never got a... Oh, shit, we got B. <gasps> a B? A B. All right, let's see. A, a B? Oh, Judith Carey's confession and his letter. Yeah. So, let's see what we got here. Arm was flirting. Yeah, no. Unexplained. Oh, what's, the, what's that new one? Hurtley's Hurt innocence. Hurtley's presence at uh, Woodman's Lees on the night of the murder is explained by his affection for Judith Carey and the fact that he worked. 
That's not necessary. That doesn't necessarily prove him innocent, though. Uh, yeah, no, it does not. But, I mean, he fell in love, but it didn't go beyond the affectionate and harmless letters. Huh. How did we? De how did we determine that? Yeah, that's weird. Um, well, Peter Carey or confession? Yeah, there we go. Okay, here we go. Desperate, Desperate jealousy. jealousy. He apparently loved Judith Carey so desperately that his jealousy could have provoked him into committing murder. It's yeah, let's possible. Go with that one for yeah, now. it's possible. All right. And then that leads to this. Motive. Liam Hurtley gives him a motive for killing Peter Carey. It's all. It's possible. We're it gonna is. run with that for now. Okay. I like that because the the uh, Nelligan is not really. Feet of strength. Oh yeah, that's right. Because Nelligan doesn't strike me as the guy who could have done it. No, I don't think so either. But the thing of the the thing that still remains unexplained, right? Yeah. Is like, Hartley didn't seem like too too much of a strong boy. I mean, he's a gardener. No, he didn't. Yeah, and he he probably wouldn't have any any training with a harpoon. Yeah, because I don't think yeah he's any it, at least yet we haven't gotten any any indication that he's he has any type of boating experience but that doesn't mean he couldn't have gotten someone yeah that's true it's, so it's, we're still missing pieces yeah so I, i'm still holding reservation because i'm pretty sure they're gonna like have someone else kind of because no or because hurtley kind of showed up out of nowhere yeah it's possible that he ends up being a red like herring yeah because yeah. just because because i think all it does is it, it just explains the boots which wasn't really it, that's sort of circumstantial yeah Scotland uh, Yard? Uh, is that where? No, Wiggins is at Baker Street. Oh yeah, that's right. We, yeah. we, 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 he's, we, the, he's the orphan boy. Orphan boy. All right. Okay. All right. So far, I think we're doing pretty good, dude. I think we're we're making decent time. Look at how fucking chilly is. I really like this Sherlock. I like his voice a lot too. Yeah. They should do they should do another Sherlock Holmes movie, but with David Tennant. That'd be fucking That'd be sick. cool, yeah. Be dope as shit. We found the sailors from that list. Mr. Holmes. Well done, Wiggins. Let me see. Well done, Wiggins. Give him drugs, dude. Uh, Hugh Pattons, James Lancaster, Peter Cairns. Oh, Patrick Cairns. Patrick, yeah. Patrick Cairns. Yeah, this that guy. A yeah. And his initials the are PC. PC. Yep. The same initials that were found on the tobacco pouch. And then Harpooner Pablo, Pablo died. Pablo died, yeah. Wiggins. Could you gather some information? What the fuck? Fuck yeah, what's going on with his chin? Holy <laughs> shit! Patrick Cam. Is he gonna keep doing it? Oh. It's Wiggins' chin is so large that it like uh we found Patrick <laughs> Wait, no, I, I need chin so large. Wiggins. Where is he? He lives in a small furnished dump of a room, but he's the always sea at pub? the Sea Witch pub where he does arm wrestles for money and drinks. Oh, we have to be in arm wrestling. Excellent. Here is your reward. That's two two guineas. Oh shit. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Now I can afford some bread. I could eat some bread. So it's so it's possible. So so he arm wrestles for money. So he's so, in need of money. So it's possible that he just um was like, hey, kill this guy, Patrick Cairns. Yep, yeah, connect him. Smoker. I don't think. Oh, yeah, no, the pouch. Oh, right, right, right. Pouch belongs to Patrick Cairns. It indicates his presence at the crime scene. It still must be proven. Um. I think another thing that's worth noting if I wish to is if he's arm wrestling for money, odds are he's really strong. Yeah, he's strong. Yeah. Um, but it's possible that Liam Hurtley could have hired him to... That's just really... that's, But that'd be... That'd be a crazy coincidence, right? Yeah, yeah he would have had to known... Or, known wait, known his crew. Say? You can't leave dressed like that. You have to dress like a like a sailor boy. Oh. Because we're going to the sea witch. The sea witch. And hello, mate. Oi, I'm just here to get a drink. <laughs> Is that how I'm... sailors talk? No, that's how Sherlock talks when he's, like, pretending to be Trying a sailor. To... <laughs> that's his I'm... bad sailor? I'm just a sailor. I, I, I don't even... I'm not Sherlock Holmes. Look at me, my intelligence is low. <laughs> there we go. Makeup table? Makeup table. The hat on. There we go. No, let's give him the doofy hair. Oh, wait, you can give him whatever hair you want. That's a real sailor hat right there. <laughs> wasn't wasn't there an actually a sailor hat? Yeah. Where was it? It was a, it was the second to last one. 
The second to last one? Yeah, the second to last one? That's a sailor hat, right there. This one? Yeah. What? Yeah. That doesn't look like a sailor no, hat. No, you're thinking like the stereotypical like Navy. Yeah. He's not in the Navy, he's just a sailor. Glasses? Um, yeah. That one, yeah. too. Two? No, one is actually pretty sailory. You're like yeah. an old sailor. Facial hair? Oh, there we go. Let's give you. Let's give him something a little scraggly. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Damn, you look good as a sailor, dude. We got this in the bag. Oh, glasses. Keep the glasses, yeah. Yeah. Because you look like an older gentleman. We're trying to be as incognito as possible. Also, those glasses have wear, so that it it would appear like you're out of that sea for a long time. Okay, I just want to get through the hair and the hats one more time. <gasps> Ooh, that's a good hat. Is the deer stalker still locked? No. Fuck. Let's take dude. that. The deer stalker? Yeah, let's just take the deer stalker. Oh, that's nice. That's good. Yeah, I like that. Do that. Yeah, you All look right. like a modest yeah, sailor. Yeah, do that. Oh, okay. well, no, you gotta be a little fucking strike. I can approach cans and see if he recognizes. I like that. Yeah, you look yeah, good. Let's do that. That's probably what I'm gonna look like when I'm older. That that uh that beard that beard uh glasses combo. Yeah. Yeah. The the mutton chops. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. We've got a new place to go to now. Oh, we're so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm, oh, oh, I'm here to get a drink. Oh, you know, so hope there isn't a, 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 a Mr. Pat, Patrick Cairns here. <laughs> All right, let's figure out which one of these ninjas is the guy we're looking at. It's probably that guy with the peg leg right there. The peg leg? No, the guy to the right. That's not a peg leg, that's just a boot. That guy, I was just looking for a guy. That guy looks like Look he's... that guy. That guy looks like he's trying to arm wrestle right right there to your right. This that, guy here? Yeah. Nah, he's no, not trying to arm wrestle. No. I was just trying to see if anyone was already arm wrestling. Oh, that's our boy. Right there. Straight ahead. That guy. By the fireplace. Oh, yeah. There he is. Yeah, because I, I, I could tell because he had the anchor on his arm. Oi. I'm... Oh, he's wearing it on the left ear. That means he's... Oh, wait. No. It's, no is it left or right? I have no cares? idea. What do you want? Oh no, We've left is straight, so he's good. On arm wrestling here. You seem like the likely sort, and I'm up for it. Hmm. <laughs> at ten shillings. Suits me. I don't have ten shillings, but I have these buttons. Alright, follow Patrick Hare's facial expressions to understand his moves. Push, restrain, idle. And plan your counter strategy. Pay attention to your stamina. Oh, I'm fucking screwed. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Alright, if if anything I'll 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 help I'll so restrain. And then push? I am pushing. Okay. Okay. Restrain it. Oh. Yeah, I didn't get let me, it. Let me, let me. <laughs> That's the arm that killed a hundred whales. Care to lose another ten shillings? Yeah, go for it. Let's continue. All right. It's just the mouse. Okay. There's no, there's no over here to do. Okay. Ready to try no, it's again. so push for strain, right. and that's pretty much it. You want me to take okay. all your money? Okay. No problem with that. Okay. All right. My goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> no! <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay, we got this. We got this. There you go. You got him. You got him. A hunter whales, dude. Hunter whales. Little does he know. <laughs> I was gonna make a jerking off joke, but I couldn't think of one. <laughs> This is epic. I'm surprised the whole bar isn't like around here watching you. Get him. Yeah, fucking get him. Get him. Oh. Fucking get him. <laughs> He's restraining. He's restraining. Yeah, get him. Fucking get him. He's oh, look at him! You're mine, bitch! Yeah! Oh, oh. Oh, what the what fuck? What the hole? No! It hey, loaded the cutscene real quick. Ah, you're mine, you little- Get him! Ah! Don't you ever fucking piss my homie off ever again! No! He's got- he's done. Go, 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 go! No! <laughs> oh my what? Shinduru! Damn. You sure? You were lucky. I wasn't focused. Fuck yeah. Let's go again. Lucky? You can go again? Two out of three? Let's take a quick look at this guy real quick. Here. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Let's analyze him while he's while he's upset. Golden, Golden ring. ring. Any scars on his face? Anything... There's like a rip in his shirt. Yeah, that's true. Strong hands. Oh. Sailor tattoo. Sailor tattoo. What else we got? What else? The we mug? Got? Oh, his nails. Oh, yellow nails? Yeah, so he smokes a lot of tobacco. Yeah. Strong hands. Rip in his shirt. Oh, there we go. Cheap clothes. All right. So he doesn't have a lot of money. Let me beat his ass again. Yeah, do one more. Wax two to three. All right. I'm ready to try again. Fine. If you want me to take all your money, no problem with that. You lost. <laughs> all right. We're even. It's one one. Go. It's because I'm stuck between the transition. Oh. So it like flash back and forth? Okay, I see. Oh. He's holding. You're mine, boy. Boom. <laughs> H2 out of three. Two out of three. I won. Well, good for you, I reckon. You're stronger than you look. Here's your ten shillings. I would like to buy you a drink. Good winner as well. That's good. Hell Let's yeah. A drink. Good shit, boy. Yeah. Psh, that's how me and Chris met. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good type. Seems you've managed to settle down in life. You've got money, eh? Not all that much. Oh, well. At least you're not as poor as me. What about all the money you got for killing that guy? No job, bro. Why do you say poor? You're not working. I'm a harpooner. But you see, the whalers are rare. They don't pay much. So as a result, I find myself arm wrestling to pay for my drink. What about harpooning men? Yeah, ask him. Do you harpoon <laughs> men? <laughs> He's like, He's like, are you, I'm not one of are those. You, yeah, you're coming on to me. <laughs> of course. It's been a dozen years since I've sailed. I've seen everything. Huh. Bold Wallace, damn Black Peter, Great Roger, we sailed to the Cape of Good Hope. Black Peter. Black, Black Peter, Peter, you say? I've heard rumors about that one. He was the worst of them all. He 
He's a liar, and Violet too. Swigging those fists of his around. He's a tyrant, and not much of a captain. At least, not as good as Great Roger. Uh -huh. I see. Yes. I was told terrible tales about Black Peter. Hmm. But you ain't heard the worst. Uh-huh. Another drink. Tell me, and let's have another drink. It was in 1883 that it happened. The August of that year. Peter Carey was captain uh -huh. of the Sea Unicorn. And I was a spare harpooner. We were coming out of the ice pack on our way home. One evening, we saw a little craft that had been blown north. There was only one man on her. And huh. he wasn't a sailor. So a boy in Elegant. must have thought that she had foundered. And they made for the Norwegian coast in the dinghy. I guess they all drowned. We took the man on board. And who was he? I don't know. During the crossing... He and the skipper enjoyed some long talks. His baggage was just a tin box. The bond? Yeah. That's strange enough. Aye. Even stranger was that on the second. <laughs> I like this how much of a fucking master of disguise. Yeah. I sure like it. So funny. Nobody could ask Black Peter about it. You know what happened, don't you? I do. I saw the skipper tie his heels and push him over the rail in the middle of my watch on that dark night. Two days before we sighted the Shetland lights. Black Peter's a murderer. Aye. And those that know him wouldn't be surprised to hear it. But hmm. all this must stay between us. Oh yeah, it does my boy. Of course. Back in a second. I'm off to the Kazi. I'll be here with my drink. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Heavy like smoker. Kind, he's a heavy smoker, indicated by his yellowed fingernails. Hmm. Peter Carey was trying to conceal the murder of John Nelligan's father. Yeah. Interesting. Plant the pouch into Karen's pocket and determine if the pouch is his. Yeah, well, so we're just gonna plant it on them and be like, uh, well, first we have to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Well, I guess we don't have to go to the bathroom. Where's the. Oh. We just have to plant it in his pocket. Just be behind. Is this him. not the bathroom? Where's the. I think we just said we have to go to the bathroom. Oh, right, where's the bathroom, man? <laughs> Maybe. Let's just right? see. Let's just see if we can. Yeah, get get a lay of okay, the land. It's not. We yeah. Can. All right. All right, good luck, dude. So we're just gonna plant this shit on them. We're just gonna sneaky deaky right up on them. Go. Uh huh. Check his pocket. I don't think I can. Here it is. Here it is. All right, let's talk to our boy. Hey there, you little ninja. What's up? Stick with me and you'll be detective in no time, champ. <laughs> you got any tobacco? I've run out of mine. Nah, I lost my pouch. I don't know where. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, is this your tobacco pouch? Well, oh. Oh, it is. Huh. Keep in touch. Well, I have to go now. I know a cap. I just realized I don't have to smoke anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He commanded the Pequod. He might need good harpoons. <laughs> yeah. Tell him about you. Maybe. If you like, I. Aw, we <laughs> gave this guy all hope and I shit. Know. That's, that's fucked that's, up. Yeah, come on, Sherlock. You don't gotta be a dick that's, about it. That's low, dude. Yeah. Proves visit. But that doesn't... But doesn't prove guilt. Kance has confirmed that the pouch belongs to him. This means he was at the scene of the murder and thus proves his guilt. Kance has confirmed that the pouch belongs to him. This means he was there at the scene of the murder, but does not necessarily prove that he is the murderer. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. Oh, actually, let's try guilt. Let's make, uh, let's make guilt because it will connect to feet of strength. No, well, it's contradiction. Oh no, because we have to change Hartley the innocent. Okay. And then why is it feet of strength? There we go. Cairns is guilty. 
Solve the case by accusing. Oh, I hold over it again. Oh, so I would say we don't do it yet. Peter Carey was murdered by Patrick Cairns. Cairns is a professional harpooner. His tobacco kept pouch was found. Should... It is true. But yeah, let's 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 leave it uh, as not but, guilty for right but, now. But there's no there's no evidence. Yeah, let's let's leave there's it at like, not. What's his? We're missing his motive. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let's go to let's go to pouch proves guilt and change it to yes. Uh, yeah, we'll go back. Proves Proof visit. visit. Yeah, because there's more to be. There's more to be explored. Um, and I still don't think Hurtley's innocent. I think he still has motive. Desperate jealousy. I'm I'm, I'm wondering I'm wondering if Hurtley would some had, had somehow hired Cairns to do the job and Cairns being like. Yeah, well, Black Peter's a piece of shit anyway, so yeah. I may as well make some money off this guy. Um, would yeah. see it as an opportunity for justice, and he would see it as an opportunity to make some money. Yeah, being as broke as he is, but he's, he's still broke. Oh, but they probably offered offered to give money out of the bonds, right? Because the box was in the box with the bonds was in underneath the floorboards. That's right. All right. So yeah, I think we're gonna run with that and see where. Yeah, let's press. Here. Let's see if we can press Hurtley. Yeah. Oh, feet? is there still more? You found no. all the. Okay. Please proceed to the deduction space and form your conclusion. No, 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 no. no. We're still missing. Wait, check tab. Let's see what. Yeah. No, I guess that's it. There's got to be no. There's got to be something else. Hmm. Let's. Let's see if we can talk to. Let's have that be our conclusion for the time being, though, and press that. Cause what if it just says Hartley's guilty? Cause we. What do you mean? Hmm. Hmm. No. I do think Nelligan's innocent. Yeah. So we'll okay. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to discount. The fact. That, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to show a like, movie like that. So let me see. Let's go back to Scotland Yard. Let's see if we can get any more information out of them. Yeah, and see if we can do something. Yeah, there might be something we can do. Look at them just thinking all pensive. Do you think we should change out of clothes? <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> We're just going to show up as a sailor. <laughs> It'll be... Oh. oh, we changed back. Okay. Oh, okay. I guess. <laughs> Sherlock didn't need to feel the need to be fucking uh, comedic. Yeah, but Sherlock doesn't care. That's. I'm not saying another word. Okay, well, so much for that. What am I doing here? Okay. I think we just have to form our cl conclusion based on what we have. Yeah. I mean, let's see. It's let's not see. enough. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's just form the conclusion and see if anything opens up for us. Okay. Click it. Yeah. But okay. Patrick Cairns. Patrick Cairns killed Peter Carey, but the murder was not premeditated. It was in self-defense against an armed and irrational drunken sailor. Or Patrick Cairns is a cold-blooded murderer. He's been found guilty in the murder of Peter Cairns and must be punished. Or Peter Carey must be punished. Well, okay. Here's here's here's. Oh wait, press. Press uh, yeah. Continue. All right, it let's just go. Goes back. Let's um, let's let's. Can you change Hurtley, Hurtley, Hurtley and Nelligan to to guilty? And then it's, that still is a contradiction. No, there. watch. Yeah, because you have yep. Yeah. Who's visit? Okay, and then, um, and then change uh, Nelligan to guilty. Okay. Oh shit! Here we go. Both Nelligan and Hurtley are lying. Therefore, they might be working together. The conclusion: two murders. All right, then let's see what our. What if I change this? Who's guilt? They all killed Can him. Can I have three murders? No. No, because none of their... 
None of their Yeah, let's see what let's see what two two murderer says. John Hopley Nelligan and Liam Hurtley conspired together to murder Peter Carey. Nelligan's motive was revenge for Carey's theft. Hurtley's motive was jealousy and his love for Carey's wife. Nelligan is the initiator. Liam Hurtley and John Nelligan are guilty of a heinous premeditated crime. Let them be punished by the law. Nelligan was the initiator and Hurtley his accomplice. Liam Hurtley and John Nelligan are blah blah blah. Hurtley was the initiator. Poor Nelligan was just following his lead. That's probably more likely. Yeah, that might be the case. Let's let's sit here and really think about it. So the thing is, is like the thing is, is we have motive here. We have motive with here. With Patrick Cairns, we did not have motive. Yeah, exactly. Like Patrick, we don't have any because, like, the thing is, <clears throat> we don't know why, like, why he would do it unless, unless. But the thing is, is uh, Peter has multiple times we've seen him reference to be like irrational, and he's he starts he goes into a fit. Yeah, and um, uh. Uh, he might have started throwing hands at our boy while they were having the drink together. Because the thing is, the pouch is still there. Right. So we know he was there. Yeah. Um. We know he was actually there the night the night of the murder. Right. Uh. So like, I think it does make sense that like, because I think it, it's all it's very possible, right? Here, here's my here's my reasoning, because like, there. We saw there was two. Sh we saw there was two glasses. Um, they know each other, so that should there being two glasses means that they were there were people who were well acquainted. I don't see why, why Hurtley and um, I don't see why Peter would have a drink with, with his with his gardener. Yeah. Um, that and like it's like you know because it was such it was like a scramble. So like uh, so like Pete. Pete had pulled a knife, probably pulled the knife on him, and then you know, uh, uh, him being you know the harpooner that he is, he like he picked up the harpoon because I was like instinct, it was second nature to him, uh -huh. and then he just speared him into the wall and then bounced out. Because the thing is, is, like the stuff went missing, the stuff went missing, so like, so John, John like Nelligan and Hartley, like both might have something to do with the the bonds and stuff. But I don't think they're actually responsible for the murder. I think those are just happy coincidence. It was an opportunity for for two for two people to to come up. That makes sense. So with the discovery with the discovery of of uh, Peter's murder, um, yeah, because he showed up after Nelligan. Nelligan showed up at the cabin. Yeah, to get to get the bonds back. Maybe he tried to. Maybe he maybe he didn't know about the murder, and then he tried to break in and discovered the murder. Yeah, because I'm pretty. And he was startled. Dropped what? What? What did he drop? Uh, Nelligan dropped his notebook. His notebook. Yeah, he probably went in, seen that, seen that he was dead. Yeah. Or wait, was the notebook found? It was found inside. Yeah, it was inside. Yeah, so it was found inside. So he had probably broken in, discovered the murder, was shocked by the by the scene. Dropped his notebook and, then and fled. Ooh, okay, because we found we found the ring and the notebook in there, right? Uh, was the ring in there? Where did we find the ring? We found the ring with um Nelligan's belongings in the evidence oh, okay. room. Okay, so so we didn't find the ring. It was just his notebook. So, hmm, hmm. Let's go back and review some of the evidence. Yeah, let's. I'll be right back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, while you go through the loading screen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a quick, tw quick break. I'll literally be right back. Okay. So hold that, hold that audience's attention for me, and then uh, see what what you can come up with. Okay. So we're looking for, looking for the ring. Where is that evidence? Here we go. The ring. From R. Dawson to my friend and partner. Okay. Hmm. That's where the box was, and then we found the box, and it had. No, that wasn't. Th that's not the same box. We still don't know where the box of bonds went, do we? The number of bond certificates with which 
Nelligan's father disappeared. We're in Peter Carey's cabin. Ridley's letter, a portion of the text. Let's turn the portion of the text. Let's go to the letter. Alright, so I'm back. I did you ask and hit them well. I beg you to reconsider something. Remember our vows. I've done nothing dishonorable for which you blank me. <laughs> hmm. Evans, okay. Alright, yo. Let's go over Karen's story. The man had been saved from the sea only the previous night. The man was obviously Joshua Nelligan. Yeah. Um. Yellow fingers indicate. Right. Hmm. According to Hurtley's letter and his own, he hid something in the spot where the garden tools are kept. He's a gardener at. Oh, okay. So the letter is in reference to. The letter is in reference to. The the correspondence. Uh. Like the no the Her Liam Hurtley's letter, that one. See. Yeah. He's talking about he's talking about the remember our vows. I've done nothing dishonorable for which you. So I think he's like. This is in reference to him hiding the letters. Right. So. Boots don't match. Peter Carey's boots don't match. Harpoon. Bond certificate. Hmm. And then what's boy? So we still have we still have the missing bonds. There are no we never found the bonds themselves. They were still missing from the cabin. Hmm. You carry an unhappy marriage, huh. Christian Catholic woman. Well kept garden. Well kept garden. Footprints. Abbreviations. Did we ever figure out what the the abbreviations were about? Um, we just found the one, the CPR one, and that had that was in reference to the bonds themselves. Yeah. Um, the Canadian Pacific Railway bonds. Yeah. Uh, tobacco pouch. Yeah. Hmm. Um, you think we could talk to? You think we can talk to lady? Talk to the lady one more time. Yeah. I don't know if anyone will tell us anything anymore at this point. Yeah. What? 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 What are you leaning towards? Yeah, I I think your story is probably the best fit. That um the Patrick Cairns is the murderer, um, but not out of uh premeditation. Premeditation, but out of self defense. Um but what would he be doing at Woodman's Lees if they're not on good terms they don't they, like he, he didn't like him. They might, and, um, you know. Yeah, but I mean, it's the only thing. It's but he, the maybe thing is, he went to maybe he went to Black Peter to ask for money for money, or if he has like a, you know, maybe if he's got another job for him or something. It's possible because I mean he's he's well off. Yeah, yeah, um, because I mean I, I mean. I don't know, I just... The thing is, it was a messy murder. Like... Right, if it was premeditated, it should have been cleaner. Yeah, I'll, yeah, you know... It, it does make sense, yeah, she's not gonna talk to us. Leave me alone, please. Yeah, I think we're just gonna... I'm just gonna go with it. I think that's... I think that's it. Wait, do Lucky throw? And then, um... That's an get rid of, uh, Hurtley? And then get rid of desperate jealousy. Now that's just Nelligan. All right, let's see what that that says. I just want to. Uh, it's proven by his dishonesty and the fact that he was at the scene of the murder. Yeah. Yeah. That's not... Yeah. It's the. 
Yeah. John Nelligan is a victim of circumstance. His childhood was overshadowed by the loss of his father. He always dreamed of a reunion to find out what had happened. He made a poor decision and so fell into trouble. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. I just wanted to see, because I was like, that's probably how we get... Yeah. Okay, cause... so... We can't have... Hurtley and Nelligan... Well, can we do be Hurt... guilty. Can we do Hurtley and... Hurtley and, uh... Hurtley and, um... Um... Hurtley and... And Peter? Let's try that. Hurtley and Peter, okay. Or hurt me and Patrick? I, I don't think we can. Proves guilt? No. No, because it creates. Yeah. So. Wait, let's just try a feed of, uh, a lucky, a feed of luck. Because we were able to get it. Oh no, like but let let uh what's his name be? Uh let Patrick be innocent. Let's and see that's what's just up. Hurtley's guilty. Liam Hurtley's mind was clouded by his love for Judith Carey, Peter's wife. This murder was a crime of passion, under emotional duress. Nevertheless, he has to answer for the to the law for what he has done. I don't think so. Yeah. I think I think, I think yeah. I think you got it right. No, I just want to see all the possible permutations. And then desperate jealousy is it, yeah. Alright. Uh Yeah, okay, let's try that. But the only thing that doesn't make any sense is this is connected, which implies that Karen stole the bonds, which Well he's he's Why is he still broke if he has the bonds? Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 why I was like, I don't think. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's see what it says for Cairns. Like, let's see if it says like. Murder was not premeditated. It was in self-defense against an armed and irrational drunk sailor, or is it cold-blooded murder? Um. I think he was. His pouch was found inside, so he had to have been there. There's no way. Right. There's no, yeah, there's no way around it. Um. And him drinking with an old sailing partner makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. And, you know, yeah, because, yeah, because that's, that's the only issue I have with the other two. He has, he has no reason to drink with the, with the son of the man he killed. Yeah. Um, and he has no reason to drink with, uh, his wife, Sancho. And I can't, I can't, I can't say they're all guilty. <laughs> you can't? I don't think I can. Three murderers. And then choose lucky throw. Lucky throw will Yeah, so it has to it has to be. Huh. Wait, what? It's motive. Hurley's motive. And it has to be strength, because it's two men. What? Yeah, there we go. Possible conspiracy. Hmm. It just I don't know, again, how how would they how like the the, the biggest thing against the conspiracy is like what were the what would have been the odds of of the gardener oh that's the same thing it's oh so what 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 did they both hold the harpoon and stab him yeah exactly <laughs> like that isn't yeah well, that's and, the, just and, dumb. and the other the other big thing against it is like um how would they have both met and then formed a conspiracy like you know like oh yeah this guy killed my dad and he's like oh yeah i need to get this guy's money yeah it's it's unlikely well, shit. All right, let's uh, let's. It would have been funny if it was like three murders. They're all they're all guilty. Well, I feel like that 
that would be the most likely, you know? The fact that... Nelligan's got a stake in it because of his father's bonds. Hurtley's got a stake in it because of uh, uh, Carrie's wife. And then... He's got a stake in it because he could have offered him money. Yeah. And he doesn't like Carrie to begin with. Yeah, but there's so many there's so many moving parts that have to work. They have to like they have to find this dude. They have to find this dude that they don't know about. Right. You know, cuz the only reason we even found him is because he left he left a uh, he left his uh he left his um his cigarette pouch or tobacco pouch. Yeah. There's no way these guys would have found them. They're not as there's not they're not as good as us. I think this is the like yeah. This has to be it. I think everything else is supplementary and is just like happenstance. And absolve him, yeah? Yeah. Confirm your moral choice. Yep. I'm gonna feel real bad. I know. <laughs> what if it doesn't tell us? That'd be the worst. <laughs> and we just have to like deal with it? Yeah, it's like... <laughs> Damn. And then And then we find out at the end. Yeah, that if, like after they hang him, the next after they, yeah, it's like ah, oh, like the oh, like they reveal another clue that like brings it all together. Oh my god! Up, and it's like it does I'm the saw the, the saw us. finale oh, music. I speak with ship's captain, a Captain Ahab. Is that you? No, my name is Sherlock Holmes. That detective fella. So you wanted to see me? <clears throat> that is correct. We need to talk about what. About Black Peter, who was killed in his own hut with a harpoon. You know, don't ya? Oh. Yes. How? The tobacco pouch. You recognized it. Oh. The <laughs> sailor. <laughs> it was you. You're gonna say the sailor. Well, fine. I confess. <gasps> But if you really do, I had it right on the money. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He made me do it. I know. Did you know about this story with the bond certificates? <gasps> he didn't. He didn't even know about it. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did. I just wanted him a coffee. Oh, to keep silver. quiet. Yeah. I'm out of work, and I thought maybe he could help me. Well, he refused outright, and he insulted me. I reminded him. I knew all about that murder he committed at sea in 1883. Then he got mad when I spoke about his treasure. I barely just had time to throw the harpoon at him before he could jump at me with his knife. You know the truth? What will you do now? I ask that you return the bond certificates. Keep some of them. You will need them in your exile. It is better that you leave the country for a few years. And you won't say anything to the police? I will not say anything as long as you return the money. <gasps> well, I'll do as you ask. But what about Inspector Lestrade? I will deal with him. Goodbye. Oh, shit, dude. We, we did, did it. it. Yeah. Fucking nailed it. Wow, this is the best ending. It's good that you asked me to come, Mr. Holmes. We do need to talk. About what? What do you mean? Our case, Mr. Holmes. You sent me a message via your little thug. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wiggins. His name is Wiggins, Inspector. <laughs> Telling me that the case is solved. Well, Mr. Holmes, tell me, who is our murderer and where is he? The morgue. Eh? His name is or rather, rather Pablo. Was Dude. <gasps> oh, we're so weird. And he was a fucking hot smooth. Dude. I'll tell you everything, Inspector, but do calm down. Mrs. Hudson will bring us tea and orange cake. Ooh. Orange cake? <gasps> You're spoiling me, Mr. Holmes. That's You're spoiling me. I love <laughs> orange cake. <laughs> thank you. I'm oh, listening to your Holmes. story. Inspector Lestrade told me that I should thank you for clearing my name. He also said that you were waiting for me here. Oh, I we fucking did it. Nice. I cannot thank you enough. It is all because of you that this nightmare is finally over. You can have the I rest of the bond. this belongs to you. My father's securities. Incredible. But how did you get them? It would take far too long to explain. Tell me. This is extraordinary. You are a genius. Then that may serve as an explanation. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. <laughs> Nelligan, and good luck. Goodbye, Mr. Holmes. And thank you. A thousand times thank you. 
Wait, let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Alright, play it back. Alright. Peter Carey was murdered by P Patrick Cairns, a professional harpooner, the only one capable of executing such an accurate throw. His tobacco, pou his tobacco pouch was found inside Carey's cabin, but the murder, the murder was in self-defense against an armed and furious drunken sailor. You have decided to absolve Patrick Cairns. Clues found 16. Conclusions. Cairns is guilty. More choice. Absolve Cairns. Let's hit space, bro. We did it. <gasps> Perfect fucking score, dude. Yeah. A, let's give a fuck. No, let's get a fuck fucking high five up high this bitch. High fucking five. Let's uh. Right. Let's, um, let's take a second to like. This is different, bro. This is different, Sherlock. Bro, our Sherlock is better than the Sherlock show right now, dude. Yeah, there is no Sherlock show. Sherlock show right now. Yeah, no Sherlock show like our Sherlock show. We made the fucking... We did it. Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes? I think we should wait to accept our decision. Really? On the next one. Oh, okay. Actually, let's accept. Let's see if it's... Yeah, okay. yeah let's just see. You're, You're about, about to finish the case. The save files for this case will be removed. Press no if you would like to select another moral choice. Press yes if you agree with the choice you have made and already starting your chapter. Oh, wait. Let's not do that. Oh, all right. Don't hit continue, though. Yeah. Okay. 80% of people solve the case the same way. 60% of people made the same moral choice. Okay. Oh. So people solved the case the same way, but less people absolved Cairns. Than we did. But they're... That'd be wrong, though. Duh. Because he... Mur like, here's the thing. They're standing your ground laws, you know? And he stood his ground. I mean, granted, he was on hard times, you know? And, like, you know, he did kind of try to blackmail homeboy. Yeah. But maybe... I mean, I don't think he necessarily tried to blackmail him. I think he's like, hey, man, can you help me out? And then he's like... He's like, dude, I'm fucking desperate. Like, and he's, and like, he's like, fuck he's you, like, bro. He's like, no, fuck you. And he's like, come on, dude. Like, I know about that fucking shady shit you did. And I didn't fucking rat you out. Like, you know, that's how I'm kind of... he's like, oh, no, you never rat me out. And yeah, then pulls a knife and he's like, oh, fuck. Grabs the harpoon and, like, fucking chucks it at him. Yeah. That's exactly how I pictured it. Yeah. Because that dude didn't seem like he was a bad person. Nah. So I was like... Nah, he was pretty friendly. He's, he's like, very he's friendly. like, let's arm wrestle, and then it's like, he's like, he's like, oh, all right, cool, good arm wrestling. We're gonna let's buy a drink, and yeah. he's like, he's like, fuck yeah, dude. He's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. and then and then we brought it up. Yeah. So I was like, this guy seems like a good person. Yeah. And he seemed like he he wasn't very fond of the fact that this dude straight up whole ass murdered a guy. Yeah. You know, so I was like, this guy seems like a good person. Like, so I think, I think we did the right thing. I think that we, I think we did what Sherlock would have done. I think so. You know, sometimes you gotta ask yourself, W W S H, uh, Y D. What 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 would Sherlock Holmes yuckin do? <laughs> <laughs> yuckin, <laughs> yuckin, yeah. Because I can't say bad words on fuck. We, oh. You're you're yuckin, dude. Yuckin these. But if you enjoyed <laughs> the, this playthrough, because this is gonna be the last episode of uh, this case. <laughs> We're on to the next case. On to the next case. Next case. Next case. What are we going to call this one? The Fate of Black Peter? Yeah. That's a good that one. Sounds good. That sounds good. Yeah, I like that. The Fate of Black Peter. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> Back to the Rod Serling thing. The Fate of Black Peter. <laughs> and now he's selling his ship. Always on the horizon. The Twilight Zone. Oh, have you? All right, let's real quick before we like end the episode and shit. And we do all that. All the, I do all the plugs. Have you watched any of the new Twilight Zone? No, it's on CBS All Access. You can watch the first episode for free on YouTube. Oh, I haven't watched the first episode. No. Well, I don't know if it's the exact first episode. I know it's one of the first episodes. So I'm a, I'm a like real quick. I'm, gonna... I'm like I was gonna ask my friend. I was like, cause he was saying he was gonna get CBS All Access. So I was gonna ask for his login to see if I could watch it. Um, I'm gonna tell you this much. Uh, from the one episode I've seen, um, who is in it? Give me the cast for the first episode. Okay, so the first ep episode's called The Comedian. Okay, it's got Camille Nagiani. Okay. It's got a really cool premise. Um, I'll try not. I'll try not to. Yeah, spoil don't spoil it. it. Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil the premise. I'm just gonna say it's it's a really cool premise. Um, some of like, I would say like it does a good job of like sort of uh, 
Let me, uh, let me, uh, cut, cut the black. Let me do that. It does, like, a good job of, like, emulating. Like, kind of, like, because, like, all right. So, like, the big thing about, like, uh, that you have to, like, keep in mind, like, because I, like, I, like, love The Twilight Zone. It's one of my favorite shows. But one thing you have to keep in mind about The Twilight Zone, not every fucking episode was a banger. You know, there was a few duds. Yeah, that's you know? right. Yeah. Um, this one didn't seem like it was a dud. Um, cause it was, I actually really liked it. Um, it's just, there was a few times that the, the show kind of, the way that the show's written, um, it kind of made me roll my eyes. Uh, so like, uh, like I wasn't like, so, okay. So the Twilight Zone has always been very political. Like it's, it's a very, it's a very, it, cause it was like, it's a, a lot of it is like, sort of just, like, raw, like, a lot of the initial Twilight Zone run is, like, like, Rod Serling sort of, sen- like, political sensibilities and stuff, like, sort of painted in, like, a, a very abstract way to, mm-hmm. like, get messages and motifs across. Um, this one, uh, the one, the one episode I saw, it was, it was really well written. It did, like, a really good job of making you be like, well, what's gonna happen next? It did, like, a really solid, like, like, it escalated very well. Like, it didn't, like, um... It didn't go from like zero to like a hundred. It was a very slow burn episode, and it's different because uh, the Twilight Zone generally was like a twenty minute. It's twenty minutes per episode. Right. Um. Now they're doing them. They're like forty five minutes an hour. Oh, okay. Uh, so I think that's a cool format, with the exception that like, um, with it having to fill such like a much longer times like time frame than it normally is. I feel like some stuff kind of like. It like I I felt like there was pacing issues with the, with the episode I saw. It was really good. It was really really good. But like some of the things that was like um. There was just like this weird I don't know. There's just like weird stuff that's going on with the writing that kind of feels like, like, dick strokey. You know what I mean? Like it feels like the writer's kind of stroking his own dick. Mm-hmm. Like you know, and it kind of, like they say kind of things that are like, you're like, what? Like it's they kind of say like weird pretentiousy things. There's like. Um, they kind of, like, try... Because, like, the thing that made Twilight Zone so timeless is that, like, yeah, there's a lot of, like, political things, and, like, Rod Serling's not the kind of person who, like, uh, is, like, reserved when it comes to, like, trying to tell you what what you should be getting out of the episode. Uh Uh-huh. But, like, most of the time, like, the best episodes, they don't have to hit you over the head with it really hard. It's, like, there enough, and it comes across, uh, convincingly enough that you can kind of sit there and be like... You can sit there and think with it for a little bit. Right. Um. There was a few moments where, like, they were, like, they kind of, like, mentioned, like, they kind of, like, took a stance on something and hit you, like, and it's literally a joke throughout the whole episode. They hit, hit you with it every fucking time because it's, it recurs throughout the show and it has nothing, or through that episode, it has nothing to do with the overall message of the, of the entire episode, but they pick a stance on something that has nothing to do with anything that that episode's trying to say. They just throw it in there. For, they throw that in there for the sake of it being in there, and you'll you'll know exactly what I'm talking about because it's like it's spo- It's one of the first couple lines spoken in in uh in that episode. It's it's for me. I was like, I get the point they were sort of trying to make, but like I'm like, you didn't have to take a you didn't have to pick a stance on that and make make this episode like weird because it had it, that's like the one thing that didn't fit with me because I was like because they never left it alone because even like. In the beginning of the episode, they reference this thing that I'm talking about because it's not important. But, like, they reference it and they're like, oh, yeah, you should stop doing that shit because no one gives a fuck about that. And then, like, but it still becomes a recurring theme and it's it's sort of used to sort of, like, um, to give you, like, a contrast between, between like, what's going on with this. You, know, you have to have seen that. You'll have to have seen the episode to know exactly what I'm talking about. But there's a joke that the character makes every single time before... Um, something hap- he he does something to make something happen and like that joke is like it doesn't need to be there because it's just like a it's just objectively stupid it's like it's really dumb and it's a it's a really hampers the way to be like oh let's see here's our opinion on this like we're we're gonna throw our opinion on that and like uh it has nothing to do with anything and I think that the show could have done with not having shit like that in in the episode huh um the cin- cinematography is fucking great it does a really good job of making you feel uneasy. Okay. Even when nothing's happening, so I think uh, a lot of the spirit of uh, the original run is like is there. Um, there's just some sort of weird modern sensibilities that are kind of thrown in there. 
that kind of in some places hold back the the show. But overall, I would say it was a pretty solid episode. I'd give it like a seven point five or an eight. It was a really good episode. Uh, Camille Nanjiani's performance in that is actually amazing. He like really fucking like he's really good in that. Like that episode is pretty fucking solid, and he he like he really sells you on it. Like, um, because his character arc in that is pretty, it's pretty it's pretty cool. And like uh, uh, I guess like the other thing that's kind of hard for me to get past. Um, so I like. I like um I like Mr. Peel a lot, Jordan Peel. Um I uh I'm a huge fan of like his recent work, but it, it's still kind of jarring. Um that or not jarring, but it's like he's So like they do he does the the spoiler. So everybody knows sort of knows this that like he's like the the Rod Serling right like, uh stand in. Right. Um he like He's like, at least in the episode I saw, they, I don't think they gave him really the time to like, you know, sort of like flex his fucking wings. Because he doesn't really like, in like the two times you see him, because you, you only get out, like he only says anything twice in that episode. And like, that's usually the case for like a Twilight Zone episode. Usually Rod certainly will sort of open it and then close it. And every now and then it's up episode he'll like kind of interject as like the, the exterior uh, narrator. Um... But or like the external observer, you know, he'll right. like comment on things. Yeah. Um. So Jordan Peele doesn't do that, or at least in the episode I saw. So it was just he just literally just did the intro and he did the outro. But the intro doesn't happen till like way after the episode starts. It's really it's a really bizarre like like it's like five minute five ten minutes into the episode is that when you f- see Jordan Peele and he kind of intros. Does whole- he come walking into the scene? Is no, that what he's sitting down. It's weird. It's really weird. He's sitting down, but not in the scene. He's sitting down like it's like it's a weird transition how it sort of happens, um, because I don't want to give it. I don't want to give it away. It's it like, it's cool. It's cool, but like it, I like, he doesn't have like the same sort of like gravitas that like Sterling has. You know, because like uh-huh. Sterling was very poetic when he spoke, and stuff like uh, I I feel like they didn't they didn't give it. Except for the end. The end was really good. Uh, the the outro to the episode where he kind of does like the the last like the epilogue speech right. was pretty was really good. Uh, the interior the the intro was what what, the, what kind of set me off because I was like, or not set me off, but it, it was confusing for me because I was like, usually <clears throat> usually the intro is what, like the, one of the most important parts. You can have like a weak outro and it'll still be good, um, because the intro is what kind of sets you. Like, you know, it sets the tone and, like, your sort of expectation. For... Yeah. Kind of makes you go, huh. Yeah, like, what's going to happen, you know? Yeah. Uh, I didn't really get that from this, that first episode. But the I think the thing is, is, like, the premise and, like, how it unfolds was strong enough that that carried the episode. Um, but, yeah, I, mean, I really liked it. I think you should check it out. I think it's free on YouTube still. So, you can... Okay. We, we could probably do that, like, when we're done recording. We yeah, can, okay. Yeah. Because I think you'd like it. Cool. Um... But yeah, it not I I felt like fucking ten minutes with. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> no, you're good. Yeah. Oh, do you want to shout? There was the, someone you wanted to shout out. I want you to do that. Oh yeah, there were there are two YouTubers that I'm watching right now, and I think they're fucking hilarious. Um, the first one's uh, his name's Will Burger, and uh, you want to spell that if they want to go check him out. If they uh, I think it's W I L B U R G E R, and uh, his logo's like. Uh, an ugly ass Khajiit from fucking uh from Oblivion. Um his like primary primary prim- primary videos are uh their Oblivion, um in which he plays as a Khajiit and it's fucking hilarious. Um and then now he's doing uh a sort of like I guess it's like an anime style. The intro's anime style, but like the the show itself isn't really animated, but he's playing Skyrim as well. Um, I think he's played some other games on there as well, but I haven't seen those. I've just watched his Oblivion series. Um, not all the way through it yet, um, but what I have seen is so funny. And, like, I'm I'm caught up on his Skyrim series, and it's just so funny. Um, and then the second YouTuber, his name is uh, RT Game. Um, I think he primarily streams, but, like, his streams go to VOD. And uh, I've been watching his VODs, and he's he does, like, a little, like... Uh, 
sort of like a highlight highlight reel of his uh, of his streams and stuff. And so I was watching him play Scribble Knots, and and that was funny too. So those are I don't know those are my two favorite YouTubers right now. I've been watching them both like pretty consistently lately, and I just wanted to share them with you guys because I think they're funny, and I I I hope they do. I hope they do do more. Do more. And so if oh. you guys watch him. Oh, uh, Wilberger asked if he could collab with us. He said he wanted to help. He wanted to see if he can hop on and was he play, like, with, play with a bigger channel. Was he like, bit. collab, bro? Question mark, question mark, question he mark. Said, he said, uh, bro, I could use the exposure. And you guys are like probably like one of the biggest YouTube channels right now. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> we're sort of a big deal. And I was like, uh, we'll, uh, like, me and Chris are going to have to shuffle things around. We'll see. We'll get back to you when we, we have an opening in our schedule. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> he did. And he met, made, made a fucking video for us. It was only for us. No one's seen it yet. I, I kind of deleted it because I didn't want you to see it because it was so cool. And and I was like, oh fuck, maybe it'd be cooler. If it, like, it's like the lost tapes in my brain. That's fucked up. I thought you were my friend. I am. I just, you know, I just thought like I just didn't want you to be like uh, so. Over- I just don't want to let the fame get to you. You know, <laughs> that like YouTubers you like are trying to talk to you and stuff. And like, I just don't want you to like go Hollywood on me. You know. <laughs> I I talked to uh, I talked to Vernon Shaw once. Look, see, look, right. <laughs> Dang. have I I told you? Have I told you about that story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want? Uh, for those of you that don't know, um, a friend of mine is uh, dating a guy who was roommates at one time with Vernon Shaw, who uh, works for Game Grumps. Does he still work for Game Grumps? He does. Yeah, he okay. does. I was um, I'm, I'm pre- yeah, no, no, he does funny, because I've like, I've seen a. This is the second time we've talked about Game Grumps on on the channel. Really? When was the first time? I can't say because we said we weren't going to talk about exactly what we were talking about. Oh, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Well, I think you probably gave it away now. Yeah, they still don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, and so I think, yeah. he was telling me, so I was at their house, and we were sitting in their backyard around a bonfire, and uh, he was like, uh, yeah, I, I had mentioned that I was a fan of Game Grumps, and uh, he was like, oh, yeah, uh, uh. He was like, oh, my friend, uh, I had a friend, I was roommates with a guy who did a YouTube channel, and he was like, kind of being like, I'm kind of sad I never got to do a YouTube channel, because I had this roommate who uh, started a YouTube channel and got pretty big, and I was like, oh yeah, what <laughs> what YouTube <laughs> channel was it? And he was like, oh, it was Hot Pepper Gaming, and I was like, wait, was his name Vernon? <laughs> and there he was like, he was like... Yeah, Vernon, Vernon, and I, I was like, "Is it Vernon Shaw?" And he was like, "Yeah, dude." And I was like, "Dude, no way!" I was like, "You were roommates with that guy?" He's like, "Yeah." He's like, "I still got his phone number. I wonder if it's the same phone number." And I was like, uh, "He's like, you want me to call him?" And I was like, "No, man, you don't have to do that." And he was like, "He's like, no, I'll call him and and, and see if he picks up." And so he calls him. <laughs> He calls his number, and he doesn't pick up. He leaves a voicemail, and he's like, "Well, I'm gonna leave a voicemail and just see, you know, maybe he'll get back to me." I think it might have been like. 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes later, he gets a call on his cell phone and it's Vernon. And he goes, he goes, oh, hey, dude, like, what's up? Like, it's, it's, uh, it's so-and-so, like, uh, uh, you know, I have a friend here who's just telling me he's, like, a fan of yours and he wanted to talk to you. And I was, by this time, I was fucking mortified. I was like, I was like, dude, what the, I was like, are you kidding? Like, he's like, and he's like, uh. Uh, he put him on speaker and Vernon's like, oh yeah, cool. That's awesome. Like put him on. And like, and like I talked to him and I was like a nervous fucking wreck and I probably sounded like an idiot. So, <laughs> so thanks Vernon for talking to me. <laughs> that was super dope. It's like my claim to fame. So yeah, that's my story. It was pretty fucking surreal. We have like, here's like the funniest thing. We have like a, like this strange, like, you know, like there's like the, what is it? The five, sh- uh, five degrees of Kevin, Kevin Bacon. Or three degrees of Kevin Bacon, with the, with the, <laughs> I think, where it's like every. I feel actor, like I've heard of that before. It's like so, like every actor within like within three like three actors has worked with someone like has in some capacity worked with Kevin Bacon. Oh, you know what yeah, I'm talking about? yeah. So like, we had that with Game Grumps, um, because I, I'm like always like just that far away from like interacting with because like. So you've interacted with like interacted with Vernon. I've had I've had friends that have met like like met like Aaron and shit. Oh really? Yeah. I, I'm I'm not gonna say his name on Oh, or do you remember uh Vetra's brother? Oh yeah. Vetra's brother met Matt Pat? 
Yeah. And uh, and uh, Vetra sent us the video of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, that was so cool. Yeah. Matt Pat made a uh, a personalized video for yeah for uh, a friend of ours' brother. And uh, and he sent it to us. He was bragging. He's like, "Look, my brother, my brother met Vat Pat." And we're like, Shout "We're like, fuck Vetra. you, Vetra." <laughs> Shout out to Vetra. We met. Yeah. Damn, it's been a while since I thought about Vetra. Um, we might show a story, like, or we might, might do like a lore video about Vetra. About Vetra, yeah. Because yeah, the mysterious, the mysterious Vetra was the mysterious guardian. That shit was so cool. Well, maybe we'll talk about this, like, when the Master Chief Collection comes out. That'd be cool. We'll play like play through Halo Reach or something. We can talk about Vetra. And yeah, okay. Because I feel it's sort of fitting. It's a Bungie game. Yeah, that does make sense. That was nice though. I re- like, dude. That shit was like, man. I wish we had had the channel up and running when like when that shit happened. Because dude, that was amazing. That'd, yeah, that would have been gold. That that was like that was like an anime moment. Yeah. So Vetra, well, so we used to play Destiny like constantly, and yeah. so we were playing Destiny One, and um, we met this guy named Vetra, and he didn't have a mic for like the longest time. And it was so, like months. We played yeah, with him for months. We played, yeah, and he was just some random dude that like match made with us, and, and then we, like he added us, I yeah, think. and he added us, and, and and then we like that was our fire team. It was Yumi and Vetra, and like Vetra didn't have a mic, and so we would like communicate with him through our mics, and he'd communicate back through squat through emotes and, yeah, and dances and stuff. Yeah, he would crouch at us, <laughs> yeah. he would shoot in the air. Yeah, yeah. He would throw knives and shit. So and I killed both of you guys. And then we got and then we got to we you know we kind of got to be really good friends and then he got a mic and then like it was it was so fucking funny because we just jumped on to play with him randomly. Yeah. And then out of them like we were playing him for like a little while, like in that session too. And then out of nowhere he just talked and we lost our shit. Yeah, we were like he was like he's like, Hey guys, and we we're like, Oh what? Oh. Yeah. It was really But we've fun. had we've had we had a lot of good one of some of our best gaming moments came from From playing with Vetra. Playing with Vetra. We so. got it was with it was uh I think our first raid completion was me, you and Vetra. Oh yeah, we did we we, we we cheese Crota. Yeah, we cheese the fuck out of yeah, Crota. Yeah. Um, yeah, we three man Crota. We we got Black Spindle together back when that was like really tough for people. We did that and we did yeah, that. Yeah, that was nuts. Yeah, that we was did that super under level. Yeah, we, still we got did that. it. We did it. God, we did it countless times. We did and like we got it. That was such an accomplishment. We, we I think we did it. I think me and you did it by ourselves for a while and then vetra got on and we just did it we ran it like a few times and then yeah we got, we got yeah we got through most of it just us two and then vetra got on that's right that's yeah because right. we were getting and we're, then yeah we 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 finished it out with vetra yeah. on the team yeah as, it was good as good it times. Have been good times you'll hear us talk about that shit more we're gonna i think one thing we're gonna try to do a little bit more like a little more often is kind of tell stories yeah we do have stories i guess i never really thought about it yeah it's not. It's nice to share. It's not me. something that ever like I was like, oh, maybe I should tell this story. Yeah, I like telling those stories though. Yeah, those are good stories. Yeah, we should. Yeah, we should keep doing that. Well, maybe one day we can tell, give people like an origin story of like <laughs> how, how we started being friends. <laughs> was, I would have. I'd have to recall all the details. I know some of them. Yeah, there was like there was like a long time where like we were sort of around each other's bubble, and there was like. There was just like a summer where we like like just started hanging out randomly, and it then, was it was summer of our senior year. Yeah, and we just hung out like nonstop. nonstop. Yeah. yeah, it was funny because like it was like the first time I had hung out with you outside of like a social event or like uh, like school and stuff. We just hung out. Yeah, and then we were just you're just like because we hung out a bit when we were uh, sixteen. Yeah, yeah, we were sixteen, and we hung out a bit, but we didn't like. You and me hang out. We hung yeah. out in a group of people of like all our mutual friends. Yeah. And then it was like a year or two later when we were just like yeah. we just hung out like constantly. Yeah. I just like I just like I I, I see I looked in your eyes and I was like, that's, <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> and I knew just by looking at you, <laughs> I was like that's the guy. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> I love you, dude. <laughs> all right, guys. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> For, for more, more bromance. This, for more of this gay shit. <laughs> um, uh, click the bell, too, if you do fucking follow the channel. Because, you know, you'll be notified when we put out videos. And you don't stream on YouTube sometimes. So you'll be notified when that happens or whatever. Um, you can also follow me at Twitch at twitch.tv slash Nathan underscore crash. Um, and just, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. Or like, like and comment on all my videos so you can help push us through the algorithm. And give, give us that watch time, you know. That stuff really helps. And, you know, sharing videos or our channel with your friends really helps out, too, you know. 
Uh, we've been seeking like a lot of growth. We're at 27 subscribers. It feels like every every time me and Chris sit down to do a recording, I'm telling them like, hey, look, we got more subscribers now. Slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. Thanks, guys. Thank, yeah, thanks for everything. Do like a three, a three, a three degrees of Kevin Bacon, and just tell like three people, and get them to tell three people. And there you go. It's like what, what are the, the chain letters? Oh yeah, it's like yeah, a yeah. chain letter. Just tell them they'll, they'll, if they don't share our, our our channel, the five people they'll like break their back or they'll, they'll break their mother's back or, or like something a, like that. A ghost girl will be standing at their bed. Remember that one? It's like just send this to ten people. Stop, or, dude! You're scaring me. <laughs> and then her, then her eyes were bleeding like blood. And <laughs> and it was hyper realistic. Yeah, yeah. So just do that shit. Follow me on the Twitch and the Twitter. Oh, the Twitter's uh its Nathan underscore Crash. I hardly ever use it, but, you know, if enough people are following me, I'll definitely post on there more. Most of the time, it's just, like, I'm, like, liking or retweeting some shit. Uh, every now and then, you'll get a status update. Like, this week, I was having a lot of trouble uploading things, so that's why there was only one video this week. That looks like you guys are getting, like, three We Get Bodies and, like, four episodes of fucking <laughs> West of Loathing. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah do that shit it helps us out helps us out a ton if you have any like any suggestions for games you'd like to see us play go ahead and leave that in the comments as well or you can at me at twitter if you don't want to leave a comment for whatever, whatever reason but like i prefer if you left it as a comment because i check comments way more than i check the twitter um what else is there uh tell us how you like in the new format where we do two we get bodied or two different we run two we get bodied simultaneously hopefully you like that i, I don't know i've been kind of I've been digging this form format so far. Um, you know, and uh, try not to drink too much uh, titty milk. Why? Because you can drink too much milk. Then your mouth's going to get all chalky. With titty milk? With titty milk, yeah. Titty milk's like super chalky. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh. But that's going to do it for this I one, guys. I can explain. I can explain. <laughs> but that's going to do it for this one, guys. Please fucking help us out. You know, we, we appreciate the support as always. We love you guys. Have a good one and try, try not, not to, to get, get bodied. bodied. All right. Ben, 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 ben.